Maronite Servants of Christ the Light are a contemplative, active congregation of consecrated women in our Maronite Church, and our mission is to serve alongside our priests as the spiritual mother of the parish. Mary is our model, and in imitation of Mary, we aim to radiate the light of Christ her Son to the people that we serve. It is a joy to be a Maronite servant of Christ the Light. It is Jesus who is the center of our life, our communal life. And each day when we receive Him in the Eucharist, He's the one who gives us the grace to go out and radiate His love and light in our pastoral service to God's people. One of the many things that attracted me to the Maronite servants of Christ the Light was our deep liturgical prayer life centered on daily divine liturgy. I found that the more I learnt about our Maronite divine liturgy, especially its manner of expression and poetry, I was able to give greater glory and worship to God. May your justice guide our light. The gift that the Maronite servants of Christ the Light bring to our church is that feminine touch. And our bishop, Gregory Mansour, likes to add that that is really missing in our church. A word to the people of God who are served by our priests. What a joy it is for our priests to serve you, and for me as one of them. But what a greater joy it would be to have the feminine touch in the church. You know, when God started with Adam, he didn't finish, thank God. It would have been a disaster in all male world. He continued to perfect human nature by woman, and having a religious woman serving alongside of our priests is a great grace. A word to all the women out there who have a desire for religious life or to give themselves fully to the service of Christ and His Church. Consider the Maronite servants of Christ the light. We do have women that volunteer in our parishes, but we are the consecrated religious of our parish. And that is a special gift that is brought to the people. Our consecration is laying down our lives to serve God's people, truly a blessing for our church, and we are honored to serve in our Maronite parishes. I would tell a young woman who is open or interested in religious life to not be afraid. It is God who calls, and He will give you the grace. I'd like to share about a typical day in our Maronite Servants of Christ the Light life. And the word that captures it is balance and rhythm. In religious life, everything that we undertake is designed to give God glory, to serve, whether it's our times of prayer, times of meal, times of recreation, times of duties in the house or apostolic duties in the parish. All those are balanced throughout our day so that we can not only grow fully as a human person and serve to our greatest potential, our people, but give God all the glory. Consecrated life is both a joy and challenge for me. It is a joy in that I'm called to follow Christ through living out the vows of obedience, chastity, and poverty. It is also a challenge because I'm called to come out of myself, to make of myself a total self-gift, just as Jesus did on the cross. My vocation as a Maronite servant of Christ the Light has helped me in so many ways. It has allowed me to grow in self-knowledge and self-awareness, and this has allowed me to experience the Lord's grace and mercy on a much deeper level. I'd like to suggest to you two ways that you can support the Maronite servants of Christ the Light. And first is prayer. Please pray for vocations, that young women will respond with a wholehearted yes to serve the Lord in our Maronite Church. Also follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, our blog, and keep up to date with our activities. And if you are able, we appreciate your financial support to sustain our mission. So whatever you can do, we are most grateful. Our prayers are always with you. I'd like to invite young women listening to consider a vocation as a Maronite servant of Christ the Light. Come and see. Visit us.